Hello and welcome to Noonday Prayer from Grace and Holy Trinity Cathedral for November 8th, the lesser feast of Ammonius the Hermit. Our service begins on page 105 of the Book of Common Prayer. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The psalm is Psalm 24 on page 613. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it, the world and all who dwell therein. For it is he who founded it upon the seas and made it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who can ascend the hill of the Lord and who can stand by in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not pledged themselves to falsehood nor sworn by what is a fraud. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord and a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the generation of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates. Lift them high, O everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates. Lift them high, O everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The lesson today is Matthew chapter 23, verses 1 through 12. Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat. Therefore, do whatever they teach you and follow it, but do not do as they do, for they do not practice what they teach. They tie up heavy burdens, hard to bear, and lay them on the shoulders of others, but they themselves are unwilling to lift a finger to move them. They do all their deeds to be seen by others, for they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long. They love to have the place of honor at banquets and the best seats in the synagogues, and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces, and to have people call them rabbi. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all students. And call no one your father on earth, for you have one father, the one in heaven. Nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be your servant. All who exalt themselves will be humbled, and all who humble themselves will be exalted. The reflection today is from Lesser Feasts and Fast for Ammonius the Hermit. The most popular story that is related about Ammonius would seem quite unbelievable if it were not recorded in such a large number of historical sources, including many that were contemporary with his life. Although praised for his learning and his ascetism, he is most vividly remembered for the vehemence with which he resisted ordination. Ammonius was one of four brothers who became monastic hermits 
in Seat in northern Egypt, disciples of the great ascetic Pombo, although most of the monks in that settlement were illiterate, Ammonius had been exceptionally well educated. He is said to have had the entire Old and New Testaments memorized, as well as the works of many early Christian theologians. Although he left no writings, many of his students and colleagues did, perhaps the most famous of which, of whom is Averigius of Pontius. In addition to his great knowledge, Ammonius was also very strict in his spiritual practice and was well loved as a spiritual director and guide. Because of all of this, the inhabitants of a nearby village wanted him to be their bishop. Forcible ordination was not unusual in the early church. And so Bishop Timothy of Alexandria told the people that if they were able to bring this holy man to him, he would absolutely ordain him. Ammonius pleaded with them not to do this thing, but they would not hear it. And a large crowd of them gathered to drag him back to Alexandria by force. Seeing that they were too numerous for him to resist or to flee, Ammonius seized a sword and chopped off his ear in front of the shocked observers. He then calmly replied that he was now utterly disqualified for ecclesiastical office since the law forbids a man who is mutilated to become a priest. This is from Leviticus chapter 21. Deeply shaken, the people returned to Bishop Timothy, who told them, this law is only observed by the Jews. If you bring him to me, I will ordain him, even if he chops his nose off too. Therefore they returned, but when they attempted to drag Ammonius off again, this time he said to them, I swear to you that if you do such a thing to me, I shall cut out my tongue as well. Alarmed by the prospect of losing his preaching and exhortation, they finally left him in peace. This story was as striking in antiquity as it is today and is recounted by a number of writers, including his disapproving bishop. Most sources refer to him as Ammonius the Earless from that time forth. Despite his strident refusal of the episcopate, Ammonius was by no means anti-clerical. His own brother, Dioscorius, had become a bishop. His other two brothers were both priests. And when he left Egypt towards the end of his life during the theological controversies that had embroiled Ski, he sought out the company of his close friend, John Christostom. He was also a close companion and associate of Melanina the Elder, welcoming her as a guest, guest to his monastic settlement and visiting her in Jerusalem at hers, and welcoming her protege, Evagrius, to his community. He died while visiting John Christostom sometime around the year 403. We continue now with the prayers, beginning on page 106. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. 
and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Drive far from your church, O God, every vain spirit of clerical ambition, that like your servant Ammonius, we may refuse to conflate ordination and leadership and may never confuse rank with holiness. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who alone is our great high priest. Amen. We pause now for any intercessions or thanksgivings you may have to offer. We pray especially this day for peace in Israel and Gaza. We pray for the people of Ukraine, the people suffering in Russia, and any people impacted by war, death, famine, or by leaders with cold hearts. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.